Welcome to the Wraith Tavern. History on tap. Enjoy the video. The Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, an iconic aircraft that played a pivotal role in the Allied victory during World War II. This four-engine heavy bomber became a symbol of American air power in World War II. Its robust design and formidable capabilities made it a cornerstone of the U.S. Army Air Force's strategic bombing campaign. Its mission was to strike deep into the heart of Nazi Germany, disrupting the enemy's war efforts by targeting key industrial and military sites. The B-17's ability to fly long distances and deliver heavy bomb loads was crucial in weakening the German war machine. The B-17 was designed to deliver devastating bomb loads with precision. Its bomb bay could carry up to 8,000 pounds of bombs, making it a formidable force in the skies. It targeted enemy industry, infrastructure, and military installations, aiming to cripple the production capabilities and logistical support of the Axis powers. The destruction of factories, railways, and supply depots significantly hampered the enemy's ability to sustain their war efforts. The B-17 first flew in 1935, marking the beginning of a new era in aerial warfare. Its development was a response to the growing need for a long-range bomber that could operate at high altitudes and deliver heavy payloads. It was a revolutionary aircraft for its time, incorporating advanced technologies and design features that set it apart from other bombers. Engineers and designers worked tirelessly to perfect its performance and ensure its reliability in combat. The bomber boasted a long range, high altitude capability, and heavy armament. It could fly missions of up to 2,000 miles and reach altitudes of over 35,000 feet, making it difficult for enemy fighters and anti-aircraft guns to intercept. These features made it a formidable weapon in the fight against fascism. The B-17's defensive armament included multiple machine guns, allowing it to fend off enemy fighters and protect its crew during missions. The B-17's impact on the war was significant. Its relentless bombing campaigns inflicted severe damage on German cities and industrial centers, contributing to the eventual downfall of the Nazi regime. It helped cripple the German war machine, disrupting production lines and supply chains, and weakening the enemy's ability to sustain prolonged combat operations. The B-17's legacy extends beyond its impressive statistics. It represents the courage, determination, and sacrifice of the thousands of men who flew and maintained it. These airmen faced incredible dangers, from enemy fighters to flak and the harsh conditions of high-altitude flight. It represents the courage and sacrifice of the thousands of men who flew and maintained it. These brave individuals formed tight-knit crews, relying on each other for survival and success in their perilous missions. These men faced terrifying odds. The skies over Europe were a deadly battleground with enemy fighters and anti-aircraft fire posing constant threats. Many B-17s were lost, and countless airmen made the ultimate sacrifice. They fought bravely in the skies over Europe, engaging in fierce dogfights with the German Luftwaffe and enduring relentless attacks. Their resilience and determination were key to the success of the Allied air campaign. The B-17 story is a testament to American ingenuity, determination, and the human cost of war. It stands as a symbol of the technological advancements and strategic thinking that helped secure victory in World War II. It's a story of survival against all odds. The B-17 and its crews exemplify the spirit of perseverance and bravery that defined the Allied effort in World War II. Their legacy continues to inspire and remind us of the sacrifices made for freedom. The B-17 faced its toughest challenge over the skies of Europe. These formidable bombers, known for their durability and firepower, were tasked with the critical mission of crippling the industrial heart of Nazi Germany. Day after day, they soared through the clouds, braving flak and enemy fighters, determined to deliver their payloads and return home. The German Luftwaffe, with its skilled pilots and deadly fighters, awaited. These men were seasoned veterans, many of whom had honed their skills during the early Blitzkriegs and the Battle of Britain. They were acutely aware of the strategic importance of the B-17 missions and were determined to thwart them at every turn. The Luftwaffe quickly recognized the threat posed by the B-17. These bombers, with their ability to fly high and carry heavy bomb loads, had the potential to devastate German infrastructure and war production. The German high command knew that allowing the B-17s to operate unchallenged would spell disaster for their war efforts. They developed tactics specifically designed to bring down the American bombers. 
the Luftwaffe's strategists devised intricate plans to counter the B-17's formidable defenses. They studied the bomber's formations, identified their weaknesses, and trained their pilots to exploit these vulnerabilities with precision and ruthlessness. German fighters, like the Messerschmitt Bf 109 and Focke Wolf FTEW 190, were fast and agile. These aircraft were the pride of the Luftwaffe, boasting advanced engineering and powerful armaments. The BF-109, with its sleek design and impressive speed, and the FW-190, known for its ruggedness and firepower, were formidable adversaries for the B-17 bombers. They could climb to high altitudes. This capability allowed them to intercept the B-17s at their cruising altitudes, where the bombers were most vulnerable. The German pilots would often position themselves above the bomber formations, diving down with the sun at their backs to gain the element of surprise. This allowed them to attack the B-17s head-on. The head-on attack was particularly effective because it minimized the exposure of the attacking fighters to the bomber's defensive guns. The B-17's nose-mounted armament was less concentrated than their side and tail defenses, making them more susceptible to frontal assaults. This tactic exploited a temporary weakness in the bomber's defensive firepower. The B-17s were bristling with machine guns, but their gunners had limited fields of fire, especially in the forward arc. The German pilots, aware of this, would coordinate their attacks to overwhelm the bomber's defenses, striking with speed and precision. The Luftwaffe also employed bomber-destroyer units equipped with heavily armed fighters. These specialized units were tasked with breaking up the tight formations of the B-17 bombers, creating chaos and making it easier for individual bombers to be picked off. The bomber destroyers were often equipped with heavier cannons and rockets, designed to inflict maximum damage. These units aimed to inflict maximum damage on bomber formations. Their goal was not just to shoot down individual bombers, but to disrupt entire missions, forcing the B-17s to abort their attacks and return to base. The psychological impact on the bomber crews was also significant, as they faced the constant threat of these relentless and heavily armed adversaries. The B-17s were vulnerable to these attacks. Despite their robust construction and defensive armament, the bombers could not withstand sustained assaults from multiple directions. The Luftwaffe's tactics were designed to exploit this vulnerability, using coordinated attacks to overwhelm the bomber's defenses and inflict crippling damage. They needed to adapt to survive. The B-17 crews quickly learned to modify their tactics, improving their formations and coordinating their defensive fire more effectively. They also relied on the support of long-range escort fighters, such as the P-51 Mustang, which provided much-needed protection against the German interceptors. The crews of the B-17s faced a constant and deadly game of cat and mouse. Every mission was a test of nerves and skill, as they navigated through flak-filled skies and evaded the relentless attacks of the Luftwaffe. The bond between the crew members grew stronger with each mission, as they relied on each other for survival. They relied on their training, their aircraft's strengths, and a good dose of luck to make it home. The sight of the airfield after a harrowing mission was a welcome relief a testament to their resilience and determination. Each successful return was a victory, not just for the individual crews but for the broader war effort, as the B-17s continued to play a crucial role in the Allied campaign to defeat Nazi Germany. Survival in the skies over Europe depended on more than just firepower. It required a blend of strategy, skill, and the ability to adapt to ever-changing conditions. The B-17 Flying Fortress, a symbol of American air power, was at the forefront of this aerial battle. B-17 crews relied on a combination of evasion tactics and exploiting their aircraft's strengths. Each mission was a test of their training and their ability to work as a cohesive unit. The camaraderie among the crew members was vital, as they depended on each other for survival. Altitude was a crucial factor. The B-17 could operate at altitudes that were often difficult for German fighters to reach. Flying higher meant a better chance of avoiding enemy fire and interceptors. The thin air at these altitudes also made it harder for enemy aircraft to maneuver effectively. Crews would often fly at their aircraft's maximum ceiling. This forced enemy fighters to climb to their limits. The higher they climbed, the more their performance suffered. Engines strained and pilots had to fight against the thin air and reduced oxygen levels. This put the German aircraft at a disadvantage. It reduced their maneuverability and performance. The B-17 Flying Fortress on the other hand were designed to handle these conditions, giving them a critical edge in these high-altitude confrontations. Evasive maneuvers were also critical, 
experienced pilots would use cloud cover to their advantage. Clouds provided a natural shield, obscuring the bombers from enemy sight and radar. This tactic was especially useful during surprise attacks or when outnumbered. They would fly into clouds to shake off pursuing fighters. The sudden disappearance into the mist could confuse enemy pilots, buying the B-17's precious time to regroup or escape. They would also use sudden changes in altitude or direction to evade enemy fire. These abrupt maneuvers required precise coordination and timing, as any misstep could lead to disaster. The ability to quickly adapt to the situation was a hallmark of a seasoned crew. These tactics, while effective, were not foolproof. The Luftwaffe pilots were skilled and determined. They studied the B-17's patterns and adapted their own strategies to counter these evasive maneuvers. The cat and mouse game in the skies was relentless. They adapted their own tactics to counter the B-17's defenses. German pilots would often work in pairs or groups, coordinating their attacks to overwhelm the bomber's defenses. They aimed to exploit any weakness or moment of vulnerability. The skies remained a dangerous place. Every mission was a gamble, with the odds constantly shifting. The bravery and resilience of the B-17 crews were tested daily, as they faced the ever-present threat of enemy fighters and anti-aircraft fire. Their determination and skill were crucial in the fight for air superiority over Europe. The B-17's survival rate increased dramatically with the adoption of formation flying. Flying in tight formations provided crucial advantages. It maximized the bomber's combined firepower. It also offered a degree of mutual protection. The most common formation was the combat box. This formation consisted of three or more V-shaped elements of bombers. These elements were staggered and stepped up from front to back. This arrangement provided overlapping fields of fire. It made it difficult for enemy fighters to attack without being exposed to return fire. Formation flying required precision and coordination. Crews trained extensively to maintain their positions within the formation. This was especially challenging during evasive maneuvers or when under attack. However, the benefits of formation flying far outweighed the risks. It was a key factor in the B-17's ability to withstand the Luftwaffe's onslaught. The B-17 Flying Fortress was instrumental in securing the Allied victory during World War II. Its durability, firepower, and strategic bombing capabilities played a crucial role in crippling the Axis powers' industrial and military infrastructure. The courage and expertise of its crews, along with the aircraft's advanced design, made it a symbol of American air power and resolve. The B-17 not only ensured the success of numerous missions, but also uplifted the morale of the Allied forces. Its presence in the skies was a constant reminder of the relentless pursuit of victory. Each mission flown, each target hit, and each crew member's bravery contributed to the larger narrative of triumph in a war that reshaped the world. The legacy of the B-17 is remembered not just as a war machine, but as a testament to the ingenuity and bravery that defined the era. Its story is one of resilience, innovation, and the enduring spirit of those who fought for freedom. The B-17 Flying Fortress remains a lasting symbol of the sacrifices and victories of World War II, a chapter in history that will never be forgotten. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.